this is a mushroom time uh, late August early September and we are now in the field to collect some mushrooms also we collect some for putting in our own garden these are puff balls and this one is massive so you want to harvest it please oh, <laughs> oh yes it's a puff ball what are you oh no I'm not wasting right, the effect. Effect. I'm not wasting any of it yeah there are more there yeah, and these are the ones that we are collecting to for seed okay give me that you collect your puffball no oh, here yeah, big 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 puffball so much oh a few more here yeah. oh that's uh, yeah some of them have to grow hmm I don't know what okay, we have found some magic mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> so just for an These experiment. are with the with the nipple yeah. magic mushroom. <laughs> oh, we'll try that out on our chickens and if they go into a <laughs> funny mood. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in here in the puff. Yeah. Magic, magic, magic mushroom. mushroom. Yeah, more magic mushroom oh. there among the pile of the poop. Brilliant, that's all right. It's only cow poo. It's that's as long as it's washed. Yeah, more. Have we got any more bags? Yeah, I think I can find. I, I have that uh, homeless bag. Getting all the magic <laughs> mushroom, huh? <laughs> yeah. According to this yeah. uh, Google lens, this is magic mushroom. More puff balls. I'm here. Look what I found here. Is that uh, this thistle? Let's have a look. It's just about to crack, so I think we just... Oh no, pick that up. The stem of it is yeah, nice. we can eat the stem. There you go. Thank you. You know what you discovered? I just discovered a puffball. <laughs> they I look like echinoids. Usually these Deep would have puffed eyes. by now. Yeah. They were just balls. Because it's in the shadow of well, this The thing is, the, why these are called puffballs is because they actually, when they're ready to spore, uh -huh. they puff like little puffers. We'll show you later. All right? But when oh, they're young, you watch your eyes, Susan. before they puff. That's massive. Let me just put this. Watch your eyes. Yeah, look at the size. This is this would be a natural size puffball, average size. Yeah. This would be, I'd say, this would these are more average size. Mm -hmm. That right? one is a giant. And these are little. They're little. Tiny butter. So they ones. come from. You can eat them from about that size. But this is the biggest one I've seen ever. Susan, this is the biggest I've ever seen. Just as we thought we'd pick the biggest. <laughs> We've there is found... another one there. Yeah, we've got two. This is huge, but I oh, think... Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. You have to get it out, I think. I'm you? going under it. Yeah, go Hold under that. it. Uh, uh, let's pull it up. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. oh. oh wow. There. Hold it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Hold it like this. Hold it two hands. Two hands. I just want to photograph this. The biggest, it's biggest puff, puff, puff the... ever seen the in the universe. The biggest puff ever seen. Go and harvest that one, thank you. Look at this whole massive. Oof. <laughs> I think we have now two kilos of mushroom. Yeah, there's more mushrooms here. Okay, I found several of these lovely mushrooms. They are not like a puff, they're pink. They're pink underneath? Yeah. Really? Are they edible? Yeah, there is another one there. Field yeah, another one there. These are field mushrooms. So the soil has changed, so because yeah. we are not seeing any more puff ones. Yeah, I think we'll just check just to make sure that these are what I think they are. I saw this from 200 meters away. I thought that, okay, this looked like mushroom. But Susan was telling this is a paper. Somebody has left toilet no, I paper. It was, but it's not. But look. 
Oh, it should be puffball. Oh, Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> look at the puffball. It's a discovery. <laughs> we found the biggest puffball on the planet. In the history. <laughs> Bring it, where you are. You just escaped. I want to make I've a video. I've never seen a puffball as big as that. It must, I don't know, some. it looks like the slugs have been nibbling at it. Oh, somebody kicked it. Uh, someone must have kicked it. Kicked they it thought it was a ball or but something. But look. If the slugs can nibble at it, and if so can we. So, Susan, what are these? These are the giant puffballs. Mm. And we throw this thing. Mm. And they like the mushrooms. You can yeah. make a big mushroom stay. They are the best mushroom because they, are, they don't have any gill or anything like no, that. They, they are white, fresh. Very fibrous inside and very yeah. soft. They it's smell like egg and uh, uh, dill. Yeah, ready to be eaten. You can eat them with anything really. They're lovely, beautiful. Okay, now this is our forage. <laughs> one tray, I think this is three kilos. And know. another one here. And then this that we just cut up for our supper. And this is what we cut now for our supper. To batter it and with the egg and the flour. And then we can fry it, I suppose. Huh? So, the smell of Marseille is lovely. It's a kind of mixture of dill and uh, uh, egg, as if it smelled. We, when we were carrying them, they would really smell really well. I'm not surprised they use the dog for finding these kind of things. So, when you see such things, please don't let your kids kick them. They're edible. I've yet, this one was uh, kicked by someone. As if it's they found it and they, they just like to kick it. Don't let them do it. This is edible. You can just eat them. Beautiful. Look at this. This one we found later. It was actually because of the rain, I think. It just burst. So today was really fruitful. We just in the public places we found these things. You're not, you know. So uh, those are sliced mushrooms. You are now putting them in the batter of the egg. Well, egg, yeah. Egg this yellow. is a little bit of egg and milk. Egg yellow, uh -huh. just and egg and milk that's been whisked. With the white and the yellow mixed together. Yeah, it's just right. been whisked. Just taken. And, and then milk. you put it in the. And then flour. I'm just now the flour is just a mixture of flour. Any flour you can use it. Yeah, Even if it is just yeah. rice flour. Um, and you could use any flour, um, but um, I mixed it with some seasoning or all-purpose. Seasoning. Oh, have you mixed it? Yeah, I, I some put red bits yeah, in Yeah, I this. put. I put. Uh, Nothing goes nicer with a mixture like this than smoked paprika. Oh. And it gives it that lovely meaty flavour. We're more or less, we're not vegan, but we switched to vegetarian diet a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Simply because we just, I don't think it was any other reason than. Just so we have to eat halal, so we just end up. Uh... Eating vegetarian anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, plus I've got food allergies really. I've got a lot of food allergies. Okay, and you put these things, fry them in this. Yeah, I'm just going to in put a pan. them in there. Let me just heat up the pan. Oh, God, look. You can clean it here. Yeah. For sure. Well, there we go. Right. Now, I'm just going to turn on the hob, heat up the, the oil. And when it starts to. Start soup. Now, like it is now. I think it's got enough. Oh, you are already doing it like fish, as if you're <laughs> frying fish. Like I'm frying fish. And then you just leave it. You don't need to fry it for very really long. Oh, the smell divine. I know. Let me just put a little bit more oil in if I may, if I want to put some more in. And you put the gas on the number six, the highest. So. I think that it's best to. Yeah, do because that. I heard it from my mom also. It is is important that it be very hot, so it just cooks it. it, cooks it. See, this is a, a, Otherwise, they just go mushy. It's not like frying meat where you. It's 
This is for these mushrooms, they fry very quickly. Mm -hmm. And they don't go much. Oh, you need quickly. a little uh, plate for putting the cookies. I on. do, I will, yes. With a little bit, uh, you know, if you want to take the excess oil, I feel that you put a, oh. you put a little uh, towel, the kitchen towel. Yeah, I do. I put a little bit to catch the oil. Oh, that's good. They're sizzling, but they're at the same time they're cooking, and yeah. the smell is divine. <laughs> so yummy. Yeah, no. The you? thing is there. No, this one. Okay. Oh. So golden brown. <laughs> How to cook the mushroom? And then after these are done, I'll cook them. There you go. That's what they will look like. You'll have to try them. Mmm. I'll show you. You can turn the fire a little bit lower. Like Well, you move. You can move this away from the top. You can move it here. So let me prepare the plate so we can put it on. Okay, you are now you are uh, trying to pick the best ones which are done. Yeah. They look beautiful, and the smell is lovely. Mm, okay, I see what you have done. You put it on this towel so they absorb the excess oil. Yeah, we done it. Yeah, yeah, that's what. I think that's what kitchen the roll was first for, wasn't it? Mm. Was this sort of thing? Now there we go. Now I'm going to put the others in here. That was a little bit. I'm burning the oil. Can you touch me? Yeah, move it, move it from the hot. So, darling, can I taste one of these now? Don't take one, take any one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh! It's a recipe. They're so oil. tender, they melt in the mouth. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. so beautiful. Oh my god. They're so light. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's like cheese, but it's healthy. You don't feel guilty because you're eating fat. Oh, 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 Big discovery. We found this giant puffball. Ah. Oh, we have been rewarded. Oh. You want to hold it? Yeah. Oh. Hold the clean side toward me. Uh huh. Move this. That's beautiful. That's massive. Half a kilo at least. At least. Or maybe more. No, it's more than half a kilo. Two you pounds? One, uh, 800 grams? Yeah, it is a big Yeah, big it's for a very, very surplus. But all that kind yeah. of thing. We paid. Our efforts paid. They grow in the shadow here, so that's the where they grow. I wonder they how many of them are here. Of yeah, these uh, nettles yeah. are nitrogenous oh, plants. Yeah, they're nitrogenous. Yeah. They, give a, they nettles grow wherever there's nitrogen. So now we have yeah. picked it. Is there a chance for them to grow back? Because this is the fruit of it. There must be something underneath. Well, yeah, there'd be the high. I hope there is something that is spores. The and high tree will grow again, and there's some plant that pop up from the high tree. Yeah. Don't. This is another one. The second <coughs> in the nitrogenous field. Ah. Giant.
giant. This is the second one. So holy, holy, holy. Oh, look at the bottom of it. Yeah, that's that's, the, that's the where they stem off. And this one's about the same size as the other. Yeah, yeah, we have now two. Yeah. Put it here. So, Susan, what are these? These are the giant puffballs. Mm. And we forest them. Mm. And they like the mushrooms. You can yeah. make a big mushroom stay. They are the best mushroom yeah. because they, are, they don't have any gill or anything like no, that. They, they are white very fresh. Very fibrous inside and very yeah. soft. Fresh. They smell like egg and the uh, uh, deal. Yeah, Ready to be eaten. You can eat them with anything really. Mm. Oh, okay, you are now screwing them. Yeah. This is what you wanted. So you put them on a skewer. Oh, that's a bit. Mm. Yeah. You have to make them pretty thick. One skewer. Oh, I remember when I was a kid, we were doing with the just the whole button shape mushroom. Yeah, well, they're different mushroom altogether. These are different. These are very fibrous. They haven't got the water in them. Mm -hmm. All the, the okay, that you made one. Yeah. So you put it down the the oven uh, on the grill. And on this aluminium foil, they look beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful! Looks nice. You I added put, some olive oil on it, yeah. I, and some salt. I put some, mixed some salt with some olive oil, and I tipped it over the the kebab. I used And did it taste? Did you taste it? I've tasted it. Yes. How it lovely. tastes? Lovely. And then, I, then you wrap, you stop it from burning, mm -hmm. so it cook all the way through. Yeah, if you have just an open fire, you can just put it in an open yeah, fire. Yeah, but I, I, I just always put it in tin foil. I can see the taste of it is amazing. This mushroom tastes so soft, melts in your mouth, and so delicious. I saw this from 200 meters away and I came for this beautiful mushroom. Looks like field mushroom. I'm not sure. Anyway. Okay, this is an edible mushroom. It's very common in Europe. Especially because it has a large stem. So I'm going to harvest it. I will write the name. This is called parasol mushroom. And in Europe is uh, is easy to find it because is is the other mushroom of this genus which is a uh, poisonous is rare in Europe. So I I don't think we have in Britain the diversity of the European mushroom. So it must be the edible one. Parasol, parasol. More parasol mushroom. These are baby ones. They have the stem as hard as a asparagus. We can call them also dick mushroom, probably. More parasol mushrooms for us. Oh, they have a thick stem. Mm, this, one's, this, uh, this one's opened up already. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, they look like lollipop. <laughs> or parasol mushrooms. Um, I think we've had enough for you. <laughs> Never oh, enough. Mm, they smell like bread. Do you smell them? They smell like bread, like the, the smell of the yeast. 
Is this a mutant mushroom or parasol mushroom or has been damaged and repressed or something? It's damaged and repressed. I've noticed a couple like that. Oh. Yeah. They grow around the corpus where the dung is dropped. Yeah. It's old fashioned fertilizer. Don't eat me. It's like the little house of horrors. <laughs> that's, that's the longest stem for a parasol mushroom. They could, should call it microphone mushroom. Well, that's microphone mushroom. Two microphone mushrooms. <laughs> 